Are you more uh, sanguine about the markets than, than negative? I assume you are. I am. I tend to be more optimistic this year. You know, I think the market is getting more and more comfortable that, just as you said, we're going to have a soft landing, that the economy will be okay, that we're not going to go to a lot higher unemployment rates. And, you know, we already have a strong workforce that's earned, you know, their wages are going up and they're spending money. So I think the market's comfortable that the economy would be okay and earnings will not have to be cut as much as people think in 2023. It feels to my uneducated perspective that the market seems to want to go higher. Whether that is true or not is to be debated, and whether that turns out to be smart or not is certainly in, in, uh, in, in doubt. It may be exactly the wrong thing, but it does feel to me that since uh, mid-fall, or maybe even early fall, uh, the market has been in a more positive frame of mind. Yeah, I, I, I think it definitely is, and you're really seeing that right now. I think investors are seeing and feeling that inflation has peaked. I think they feel in their hearts that interest rates are not going to skyrocket, you know, out of control. I think they feel that the Fed is going to do a couple of moderate raises and then pause and see how mm -hmm. things are going. Mm -hmm. So all in all, I think the market is really becoming comfortable that this will be more of a soft landing than some type of recession that's going to take us over a cliff. If you, Mike, were of the opinion that it might be worse, what should you do? Well, if you feel it's worse and if you're going to invest in stocks, then I would invest in stocks that are high quality, uh, that were probably beaten up pretty hard in 2022, and I would look for earnings and dividend and cash flow. I, I mean, it really is just basic investing 101, blocking and tackling, get back to that high quality name selection. Sure. And I mean, I see names in here like Alphabet. I mean, you'd hope they have a fortress balance sheet, so to speak. Google, um, even Delta in terms of the airlines. What's your reaction to the Chevron news today? I'm curious. I mean, do you like the idea of returning a lot of this excess cash via buybacks and dividends? Would you uh, would it make you uh, want to invest in that company if you're not you know, exposed in the energy space already? Yeah, we are invested in Chevron. And when I see news like that with this huge buyback, I mean, think back, uh, you know, a couple of years ago, the market was very upset with energy companies because they were just, you know, borrowing and spending and borrowing and spending during the, you know, the fracking era, you know, when that was all coming out. And now that they're returning cash to shareholders, I mean, it seems like some people are upset about that. We certainly are not. Um, their cash flow is very strong right now. And, uh, you know, I like the fact that they're returning cash to us. Also, one of your picks is in the beaten up REIT space, extra space storage. I assume this is being driven by the need to find places for classified documents. <laughs> I, I love your thought there. Uh, no, that's not our thesis there a little bit. But when you look at extra space storage, I mean, I mean, they're just a pretty mundane business, but it's defensive. It's durable. Um, the stock has gotten beaten up, as all REITs did in 22 when rates were going up. You know, I'm of the belief that the rate increases are going to be on pause for right now. So, I mean, I think this is just a good blocking and tackling defensive type of play because earnings growth has still been positive and it's a lot cheaper than it was a year ago. So you don't think rates will go higher from here? You don't think the Fed will, will raise them another at least quarter point, uh, maybe a couple of quarter points? Oh, no, I think the Fed is going to raise okay. a couple of times, but I think market interest rates are, are, are not going to get out of control. Okay. And I think we've already like seen in the 10-year Treasury, I think we've seen the high there in that 10-year Treasury yield. All right, sir. Thank you very much. Mike Banger, appreciate it.